Hi guys, guys, and I'm House. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and I am a debt-free person. That is something that's super new to me at the moment. So this channel previously here has been all about paying down debt and trying to sort of understand how money works. And now I'm sort of transitioning and so is the channel into like a savings channel so that I can achieve my dream of owning my first home as an individual. If you would like to support me with that dream and journey, please consider subscribing to the channel. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much to the 4,000 plus who already have subscribed because it literally means the world. And I can't believe that so many of you want to join me on this journey. Like, cheers. Thanks. Thanks, pal. <laughs> in today's video, we are checking in for week four of November's budget. Normally week four is the closeout week, so we end the budget, and to an extent, we probably could have done it this week, because basically all of the bills are done after this week. However, there are still about five days left of November, so I am including a fifth week, which will bleed slightly into December, and we'll do that next week. So next week, we'll check in for week five, and it'll be all done and dusted. In today's video, we are using the stunning November budget booklet. This is available on my Etsy store right now, there are plenty of them. The only thing that screams November about it is that it actually says November, but um, don't worry about that because you can use it for any month at all. Next week we'll be transitioning into the December budget booklet and as you can see this says monthly on it because I sell a monthly and a weekly version. I have had a couple of questions about what is the difference between a monthly booklet and a weekly booklet and essentially the monthly booklet has one paycheck bill tracker so one opportunity to do your budget in it. And there's loads of trackers and things like that at the end of it and in the weekly booklet you have five paycheck bill trackers so five opportunities to do a budget if, like me, November was a five-week month for you. However, if you do buy the six-month budget planner available on my Etsy store right now, you can convert that into whatever you want, depending on what sticker type that you want. Now, don't worry, the stickers will be launched in literally two days, bestie. So you'll get a gander at what January looks like. How exciting. <laughs> so in this video, we're doing a check-in and we're looking at my spending, my petrol, my groceries, my household, unbudgeted, everything that sort of happened with my money this week. So, did I spend too much? Did I not spend enough? I mean, you'll only know if you watch it. Let's go ahead and take a look at my budget booklet, Bestie. Okay, we are here with the November calendar and we are checking in with all of my expenses from the 20th through to the 26th. This is the fourth week of November and we do have a fifth week of November, which is the 27th all the way through to the 3rd of December, but I'm still counting that within November's budget. However, what we are doing is we're using my expense tracker stickers and we're gonna start with Sunday. Let's get going. On the Sunday, I bought some junk at my local co-op. This is from my spending money. That was £6.78. On the Monday, I did the same thing, but it was £10.52. The Tuesday was a no spend day. On the Wednesday, I went into uh, the, a different town and I picked up cat food because I needed to do that. And while I was running errands, I put 21 pounds of petrol into my car. The Thursday was a no spend day, I love that. And I ruined my streak of no spend Fridays. The sky bill came out. It was more than I expected because I keep on forgetting to put down <laughs> how much it is now with Netflix. So it's 37 pounds. And if you notice, we haven't gone grocery shopping this week. Uh, Jake went to Pop to Coop and bought some bits and bobs for just snacking and stuff like that. We've had plenty of food this week, so we haven't needed to. And the internet came out on the Saturday and it was 26 99 Okay, so that is all of the expensive taken care of. So let's move over to the check-in, which is this one here. And we'll check in for week four, bestie. Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna start by filling in everything that we know. Okay, so for spending, we had nothing rolled over and we stuffed 24 pounds in last week's video. I ended up spending 17 pounds 30, which left me with six pounds 70. 
For groceries, we had nothing rolled over and we rolled a, well, we drew a five in the wildcard challenge. So that left us with 65 pounds to stuff. We didn't really spend anything. We just went to the co-op once and bought some rubbish. So we spent 16 pounds 76, which left us with 48.24 besties. For petrol, we very rarely roll over petrol and we rolled a nine, so we had 21 pounds and I put that 21 pounds into my tank so there is nothing left over. And for household, there was nothing rolled over, we didn't stuff anything extra, we spent nothing and then there's nothing rolled over. And then lastly for unbudgeted, we opened with nothing, we stuffed nothing because we didn't stuff for unbudgeted, we didn't spend anything, so all we've got is that minus 5.99 from week one. So in terms of last week, we had zero rolled over for us, we stuffed £110 and we spent £55.6, so a nice cheap week for us and we are rolling over £48 and that is from groceries because I think we should do that. So that's that done. What I want to do now is deal with this money here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're here with the penny challenge and I've got this. So I'm gonna tip out this spending money and we're gonna do that with it. Uh, petrol, there is nothing and groceries. So groceries isn't just my money. It's both of our money. So it does feel right to like literally um, use all of that for my own savings challenge, but I am gonna round it to 48 pounds and I'm just gonna deal with the change just because change can become annoying. So I'm doing us a favor to be honest. So I'm just gonna roll over that 48 pounds in there and then everything else is taken out of my little A7 little binder. So what we're left with is two pound, four pound, five, six, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, six pound 94. Right, let's chuck that straight in the adventure jar. So six pound 94, and then I want to do the 348, which is the next highest one. That leaves us with 346, which we've already done. Oh no, oh no. So, what can I do? So I could do the 345 and a 1P. I mean, I haven't done the 1P yet, so should I just do that? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the 345 and the 1P. Okay, we are back in my sexy November budget booklet. So let's go ahead and deal with the paycheck bell tracker. It's probably the most important part of this video for me because I like get to see whether I'm on track or off track in terms of where my budget is at. So let's go over to the bills and Sky was more than I was expecting, but I was expecting it to be more. I was just being an idiot. So it's 37 pounds, which I thought it was gonna be five pound more. So like 31, but I guess it's, there but i do need to sort that out like honestly uh internet did come out and it was 26.99 and cat food came out too and it was 34.49 so um it's a pound more but it's because i bought them a treat it's <laughs> it's literally because i bought them a treat so it looks like all the bills are done however i still have one week left uh, of November's budget. So I've got up until the 30th, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this bit here because I know I've done a 5.99 on budget spend on that Power Ranger in week one because it was an absolute necessary spend. However, in case I do one in the next couple of days, I wanna leave that open and then in next week's video, I will close out November and begin December's budget. So this is done now. So really all we need to do is start cash stuffing for next week besties okay today we are cash stuffing we have my stunning resin binder that's available from so personalized it's perfect if you are looking for something to treat yourself with uh, for the new year or for christmas or whatever it is these um obviously this is a custom design and it is just stunning to me but there are on so personalized perfect etsy store there are really dense glitter beautiful binders so if that's what you're after go for it you can't fit a ton of envelopes in there 
but you can replace these if you want to. But this is perfect for like my little weekly spends and I love how it sort of lies flat. Oh yeah, there's loads of money in this too. So I need to deal with that too. We've also got my binder. So this is my plastic one um, that we're gonna go for. And we're moving towards the back because we need to do the weekly savings challenges with it. So I'm gonna put that over there. And then we've also got my little A7 binder. So this is a um, not available on my Etsy store, but you can get these stunning little envelopes. So let's get going, besties. Okay, so starting with weekly cash. If you remember from Friday's video, this is like the whole of next month's uh, money. So really all we're doing is we're taking the last week out of each uh, week. So groceries should be 70. And then we're just putting that in because we know it's the correct amount, right? So that's fine. <laughs> Trust me. So uh, we have 70 pounds, but before I stuff groceries, let's move over there. What I want to do is go over to my wildcard challenge that's available on my Etsy store. When you buy the wildcard challenge, you get a stunning suit of cards in the budget with Iron Rainbows. And what I'm doing is every week when I go to stuff groceries, I'm taking one of these cards and whatever the number tells me, I'm going to save. And the money is going towards a holiday next year for Jake and I, because this is Jake and I's money. It's not just mine. So ace is one and we go all the way up to 10. Jack is 20. Queen is... 30 and king is 40 and we've already had some brutal cards but we've had some pretty easy ones as well so i'm going to put these ones away because these are my prop ones and the minor in the back of this envelope there's not very many left so i've worked out that i'll go through this deck maybe four times in a year if i do it every single week and obviously my shuffling game it's not too bad today actually so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split this deck here and I, to this week, I am going to save, oh wow, <laughs> 20. Okay, well, well actually, this is the perfect week to have a high one, isn't it? Because I've got all of that money rolled over. Brilliant, right. I'm gonna put this jack card, let me hold it a bit nicer. I'm gonna put this jack card to the side and then I'm gonna stuff that 20. So let's put that 20 in here. This is like adding up really nice and quick and I know that look the highest number I've got after that is a 10 so it's going to be lovely in the new year so let's put that in there that's sorted and then I've got 50 pounds for this week which is how much money we used to have however look at all of this that we're rolling over from last week so we have got 20 40 60 80 95 96 97 98 that's good. So that, so hopefully I've learned my lesson from the other week where I rolled over groceries and we're gonna go in and we're gonna be a bit more sensible. At least, you know, we can live in hope, right? <laughs> okay, groceries is done. Let's roll over. What is this? Petrol. Sorry about the money everywhere, but it, it makes sense to me, yeah? <laughs> so petrol here, let's move over to my pastel dice. No, let me just tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm getting confused, right, stop it, Ira. So petrol is 30 pounds. There's 30 pounds left, which means I can hide the um, December's money in here. So that is that done. So 30 pounds is what we stuff. However, before we do that, let's roll over to the pastel dice challenges available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a pastel 10 sided dice. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling this every time I go to stuff petrol and whatever the dice tells me to, I will roll. We're in a good place. We've had quite a lot of heavy numbers towards the end. We've only got one 10 and one nine left, but you know, it could be anything. My tank is pretty full at the moment. So I'm not too concerned about the big numbers um, at the moment. And it's nice to have like a bit of surplus in my tank. Um, so this dice is available on my Etsy store and there's loads of different colors, but um, the pink one I've got at the moment isn't in blue, it's in white, so it's a bit more pastel. It's really, really cute. So let's go ahead and roll this dice and see what we have got this week. Five. I mean, that's not bad at all. Let's go ahead. I can see a little fiver there. So let's put that 10 in. That's a stunner. So 25 pounds for next week. Let's stuff that. And that is perfect because there's no coins for this envelope. Beautiful. Rolling over or moving over. 
let's uh, I did make it difficult for myself didn't I so spending is 30 pounds for this week and let's put this money in so now December is fully stuffed except for the household money there so spending is done let's move this envelope to spending and then let's roll over to my 1050 challenge that's available on my etsy store when you buy you get a 20 sided dice and all the dice are super super opaque there is so many different colors the only color that's out of stock at the moment is pink but i will be restocking that very very soon because it is after purple very very popular color so what I'm going to do every single week is I roll this and whatever it lands on, I will save. Once I finish the challenge, it goes up to £10,050 and I'm going to use £1,000 towards my home fund and £50 I'm just going to treat myself to. So we have rolled every single 20, every single 15, every single 10 and every single 9. So if it does land on one of those numbers, I'm just going to re-roll. So let's see what we've got this week. I'm hoping for a like a seven, something like that. Okay, well, that's six. I wonder if you can see that, but it is six. So, I mean, I asked for seven and I got a little bit less, so not bad. I'm gonna put this 10 in and I'm gonna take four out. So, there was getting far too many coins in here. One, two, three, four. So I've got 24 for this week, which is, very similar to last week. I think if I just had two sixes in a row, what did I get last week? I got a six last week as well. How weird is that? And there's a car horn when I said that. I think there's a glitch in a matrix, besties. Okay, so spending has got 24 again. And hopefully I have another really good week with that. So I am done with this binder. I am done with this binder and I'm looking forward to stuffing that next week. So this is our last look at this stunning resin binder. Oh, I love it. And we are done with this dice and this binder too. So thank you so much for being here with me this week. I just, uh, I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching this video. Hi guys, guys, on Bypass. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. And that is all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for being here with me. It truly means the world. If you haven't yet subscribed, just please sort your life out because I mean, what are you doing with your life if you're not subscribing to Budget with Ira? I ask you that. Like, what? Thank you so much to everybody who supports me, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody on Patreon who's supporting me. The level of love we have recently got on Patreon is truly heartwarming and it's wonderful to experience that. It's like a Christmas miracle besties. <laughs> but yeah, we are at the end of the video. So thank you so much. I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon, besties. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.